Good morning, this is Mr. O'Driscoll, and we're going to do a lesson today on Yakapaka, working with exponents. This comes from Chapter 1, Section 1-4. One Normally, when we work with exponents, there are three types of problems we're always going to see. So let's go through them one type at a time. The first type of question we're going to see will be to write it as an exponent. For example, you now see 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Written as an exponent, we are going to write 5 to the 4th power. We can also have some letters. If we see w times w times w times w times w, we count how many we see, and that's going to be written as w to the 5th power. Now remember, 5 and the w are the base, and the little 4 on the top and the little 5 on the top, that is the exponent or the power. The second type of question we're going to see on the review will be write them as a product. That means we're going to see the exponent, such as 7 to the third power, and we're going to write that as 7 times 7 times 7. We are not going to multiply it. We are not going to answer it. That's a different type of question. We can also, again, see it with letters, m to the second power, and we're going to write that as m times m. We can also mix the letters and numbers into the same problem. It just does not have to be by itself. We're also going to have a third type of problem, and this is where we're actually going to do the work of starting to multiply. So the third type of question we're going to see is simply solving it. We're going to see 9 to the second power. Now we're going to write it out, 9 times 9, and we are going to multiply and come up with the answer of 81. We could see 5 to the third power, and that would be 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125. We could also see letters. We could have seen, for example, the letter M to the second power, and we would write that out as M times M, which is also M to the second power. I can also tell you that the M could equal a 3, and that's when we would be substituting the value of the letter and solving it numerically. So good luck on the Acapaca. Remember, we're trying to get a score goal of at least an 80. Do the best you can, and go for it.